Hello, in this video, I'm going to explain why I recommend to some of my patients, those with ADHD symptoms, that they research omega-3 fatty acid supplements because there is some reason to believe that they could potentially improve symptoms, so stay tuned. Welcome to Wellness with John. I'm John Peters, and these are resources to help you thrive. So I want to occasionally do a little research moment where I talk about a research article that's relevant to the topics on my channel. And in this video, I want to talk about a study that was published in 2011 in the Journal of the American Academy of Child and Adolescent Psychiatry that was a study that was a meta-analysis that looked at a variety of prior studies that focused on the use of omega-3 fatty acids for people with ADHD symptoms. So basically, um, this is why I recommend that people do research and check out uh, fish oil and omega-3 fatty acid supplements if they have ADHD symptoms, because there's reason to believe it could be helpful. So anyway, in this study in 2011, they did a meta-analysis, which is where they basically go do a comprehensive search of all the studies that are looking at a particular thing, and then they weed out the ones that they think don't have better methodology, and the ones that have more valid methodology, they include them. So in this particular study, they found that they, they identified 10 studies to include in the meta-analysis that they thought were rigorous in their methods so that they could trust the data and the findings. And what they found was that in all 10 studies, that people with ADHD symptoms got a mild but significant improvement in ADHD symptoms after they started taking an omega-3 fatty acid supplement, okay? And so, so there are multiple studies that have shown this effect. In this particular article, they identified 10 prior studies that had consistently shown that there was a mild but significant effect and the conclusion of the study, not surprisingly then, was that if you're going to get a mild but significant effect, and the thing that you're taking is relatively benign with a low side effect profile, right, and easy to get and inexpensive, then it seems like a reasonable thing to recommend that people take, right? Now, I'm not a neuroscientist, so I don't know all the ins and outs of the explanations. My understanding is uh, from one psychiatrist I talked to, they said that Omega-3 fatty acids are precursors to other chemicals that uh, it metabolizes into, and those chemicals help your brain. Um, that meta-analysis explained in part that uh, omega-3 uh, fatty acids are anti-inflammatory, and they're also, they also affect cell membrane permeability in the nervous system, which could affect the action of serotonin and dopamine. But however it works... The reality is fish oil, omega-3 fatty acid supplements, they're inexpensive, easy to get over the counter. They are benign, and at least 10 studies included in this particular meta-analysis uh, showed that they consistently provided a significant effect, even though that effect was relatively mild. So it's probably not the case, right, that you're going to take a fish oil supplement as opposed to Vyvanse and get the same effect, right? But but you might want to research this if you have ADHD symptoms or someone in your family has ADHD symptoms and you're wondering how to get an optimal wellness plan to support them in their functioning. You might want to do some research on your own and check out what people are saying about omega-3 uh, supplements and also discuss that with your psychiatrist as well. I'll put the link for that study in the description of this video below, but thanks for joining me today. And by the way, if you like this kind of content, definitely hit the like button. And if you have yet to subscribe to my channel, please subscribe because I would love to grow this channel and I'll see you in a future video.